Welcome back to XPGIN, humanity's official Imperial news source. My name's Captain Shack. Tonight's top stories. War has been declared. The Empire and its history has been at peace for far longer than any time on record. That peace has ended as of today. In a shocking speech given by Lord Alaric of the Justicon royal family, he pledged to stop the Crusader threat once and for all by taking up a defensive stance. The Justicon have watched the Crusaders invade countless worlds in their unending quest to show the galaxy the light of their religion. If you fail to submit, you die. The Holy Mandate, a once great empire, has fallen to the Crusaders. Only a few worlds are left and their population has lost hope. Until now. Officially, the Justicon government has declared war on the Holy Mandate. In reality, the royal family is trying to save the last of their people. Once the Mandate's territory is reclaimed by an Alliance member, it'll fall under the protection of the Alliance and the fleet. Never in the history of the Alliance have the Jusconians been the aggressor, till today. Emperor Vermeen has stated full support for the war effort and defense of any territories gained. Will it be enough to stem the Crusader tide? As of yet, nothing has even slowed them down. Entire fleets have been swept aside. But the Empire has been preparing. Only time will tell. In other related news, the Super Star Destroyer Last Hope has come off the Crusader dry dock lines and has taken up position as command ship for the Alliance fleet. Along with it comes 25 ships from the Empire, from ISDs to support frigates and cruisers, all bolstering the Alliance's combat capabilities. The First Fleet is welcoming its new command staff. Admiral Howler has left the Bridge of the Lone Wolf and taken up his new post on board the Doomhammer. The First Recon Group has been assigned a new Fleet Admiral, Commander Draken. A new element has been discovered, Element Zero. This new element holds an amazing level of power and has a unique characteristic of allowing finer control over mass fields. Scientist Dr. Ruski says that this could be a key discovery in faster than light travel, allowing ships to jump faster from point to point with less recharge time. A new squadron of ace fighter pilots has joined the fleet. Congratulations to Gavin Hunt, whose, and I'm quoting here, paw dropped him off at a spaceport because he thought ties are purdy. Bill Kidman, AKA Billy the Kid, who signed up to do his duty and combat the Crusader threat and protect the Empire, and First Lieutenant Elisa Gray, or Zero G, who's been part of the fleet for years. Welcome to the fight. This wraps up tonight's netcast. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Captain Shaq with XPGIN. Join the Empire today for a better tomorrow. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here. Welcome back to the Grand Stellaris campaign with the Galactic Empire. Uh, holy shit. Oh, that's the, the Alliance fleet. Okay, so why is there a giant 54K fleet running through by the Justicon? But that's our Alliance fleet. Uh, because the war has begun. Now, I, I listened to you guys, I read through the comments, and I saw some interesting information on there. One, the issue we were having with the Alliance fleet not listening to me was because there's a bug in this version. We're playing a little bit of an older version uh, where the Elvari Collective actually had dual control of the fleet, as did I. Basically, next time I have control of the fleet, I need to remake it. I just need to set it up as a new fleet and it won't constantly be under the control of somebody else. So that's a quick fix. Sadly, we won't be in control for a while. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we started a war, at least the Just Cons did. The royal family has decided to swing in here and go to war, I say in quotations, against the Holy Mandate. In reality, we're going to save them from the Feral Crusaders. They've been taking over their territory. All of this right here, all the way back through like this hyperspace line used to be Holy Mandate territory. They were actually quite a large empire for a long time. They aligned themselves with the Republic, uh, but the Crusaders woke up and said, hey, join our religion. We all said, no, you can go warp yourself. And now here we go. <laughs> the war has begun. They've expanded. We've seen that they've got a 100K fleet. Uh, we finally ourselves have a 100K fleet. Not that I want to fight them directly, but We've gone to war with the Holy Mandate. We're gonna claim their territory, it looks like. The Just Cons want those planets. And when the war is over, hopefully, I'll go ahead and unpause this, because we need time to push forward. Hopefully, uh, we'll control this and we'll be able to begin, oh, man, we're gonna be beginning combat operations against the Feral Crusaders very soon. We have a lot of power coming in right now. That means it's time to build up some more ships because our fleet capacity is there. So what are we gonna build? Well, we need I was looking through the patron fleet list on what kind of captains we have waiting in the wings to join up. And we have 
a number of broadsides, oddly enough. Let's pause this real quick. I want to look at ship design. We have a bunch of broadside cruiser captains that have been waiting quite a while to join the fleet. Now, uh, the broadside is a really cool ship. Uh, it is a variation on the... Where is she? Uh, the Gladiator, actually. She is a smaller version of the Gladiator, but she is considered, in this case, a destroyer. Very small, very cheap. Question is, what do we want to put on here? Well, we don't have a lot of choices. We really don't have any choices except for a large cannon on the front and a medium cannon on the back, which is fine. Uh, why don't we put some disruptors on there just to swap these out? Disruptors are good against shields. Our laser technology is relatively good against armor. It's a nice mix. Let's clear an autocomplete, see what it actually says. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I can rock this. Let's go ahead and remove this though and put on, like I said, the, uh, the disruptor. So we're gonna be building a bunch of these guys. So we have these captains, they're no longer waiting in the wings. We've updated the design. Uh, new Terra, give me a battle wing of uh, da, 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 broadside classes. I mean, I want a ton of them. And let's mix in a couple of Venators, because I know we've got a couple of Venators waiting in the wings. So there goes all of our resources. Uh, hopefully, we should be okay on energy credits because of the trade. I have a feeling we're going to be going to war really soon with the Crusaders, especially after this war is over. We will be, well, we'll be surrounding them. If they go to war with anybody but the New Republic, or the Republic uh, Dominion, they'll be going to war with us. All this territory is ours. The Zimmerfuck leave have a 8k fleet. Wow, you guys have to upgrade your fleet. The Jaskanian... Whoa. Oh, it's a 15k fleet. No, that's not actually that much. Come on, Jaskan. You've got to upgrade your fleet. Having like a 14k fleet and a 15k fleet all separated isn't going to do anybody any good. You're going to get stomped. You guys should be up to my... Well, maybe not to my level, but you should be pretty strong. Just saying. 3k task force. I guess it's going to be a while to the invasion. We're going to send out uh, our new Admiral, Admiral Draken. He's already on his way to the Holy Mandate. Um, he's got a relatively small battle group, but it should be enough to get some work done. I'll actually send you some reinforcements. Like, I'll send in... Um, let's go ahead and upgrade you guys. I'll send Ships you in. Upgraded. Construction you? complete. You also need upgrades. Go upgrade. Ships upgraded. Good. I'm going to dispatch both of you guys. I don't need these two fleets. These are old technology from former worlds. But we're going to send you guys over as reinforcements. The mandate, the holy mandate shouldn't have a fleet, like a proper one. So we should be able to get work done with you two. Excellent. Broadside cruisers are starting to come off the line. The other thing that we're going to do in this episode is we are finally going to watch my, watch my power drop like a rock. We're going to take the fight to the Ancient Dreadnought. Now, I gave this some thought, and I read over your guys' comments over the last few episodes. We've been going back and forth on whether or not we should bother. Um, the Dreadnought itself, from what you guys have said, may not be worth it combat-wise, right? It might be worth 3, 4K, which is a good-sized ship. It's got some interesting technology. Uh, but for what I'll probably lose in the fight, I'll lose more ships. That being said... What I forgot to, to keep in mind was the world that this thing has been protecting. It's got a massive world in this system, the Benami system. The Benami system has a 20 tropical world and a 16 Arctic world within our territory that we can um, terraform the Arctic world, turn these into research stations, and research easily make this complete. worth it for us. So, And this could be another one of our core worlds, because look, this is the core. Crusader, Emperor's Landing, Atlantis, um, Concord system, which you guys wanted me to name what Concord Dawn, I think, for like the longest time. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Research is completed. Military stations have gotten a boost in health by 25%, and that is a large amount of health. Let's go ahead and do some new research. We're going to pick up a straight bonus to ship hull points, um, projectile defense module. Hmm. Quantum missiles, eh, tier fours. Afterburners, afterburners aren't bad. Strike craft attack speed. I don't know if this will apply to our fighters already in the fleet. Hmm, attack speed. We have a lot of fighters in the fleet. 46,000, that'll take 41. 
months. Both of these will take 41 months. 50% combat speed? Can we put this on fighters? That would be amazing. All right, we're gonna go with a subsystem. That way we can put that on our destroyers, get a little bit more speed. What do we have? We have a science ship, not a threat. The task force has arrived for the Just Con. It should be nothing they can't handle. They're already bombarding it. Excellent. They really don't need us. That's why I only sent the recon crew. You guys have got this in the bag. We're already up 15%, so we just need to find their other worlds and bombard them. Um, there's our fleet. Go ahead, head straight for the capital. You have your orders, move out. Where are you guys going? Are you moving in to join up with the recon fleet? Ah, you know what, fine, that's, that's fine. All right, I think we're just about ready to go. One more jump for the proper fleet. And this is the first fleet. Admiral Howler is now the first fleet commander. Congratulations, hopefully this will get you some experience. Um, we even have upgrades. Oh, because you're sitting there with the uh, broadside cruisers, right? Our 100K fleet, if you get promoted, I bet this brings the 100K fleet up to like 100, 110 maybe. You get some nice bonuses, that'd be really great actually. All right. I think it's time we did it. I'm sending in the fleet. We're jumping into the system now. You can see the warp point forming. Okay, no, that's a science ship. Not quite sure why you're going in there, but there's the rest of the fleet. Now the Dreadnought won't wait. It'll actually come after us. So let's go ahead and just give the order to attack. Engagement order has been given. In the shot speed fleet. For mercy. They will beg for mercy. I don't think an ancient automated Dreadnought is gonna beg for anything. Good luck, our two superstar destroyers and our fleet. Uh, heavy interdictors, ISDs, Venators, our new TIE pilots that are in there. It's so good, our fleet is so huge. And we're gonna see what our max range is. Our fleet's gonna be so big at some point that our back line won't be able to fire toward our front line. Maybe not, we'll see what the max range is, but here it goes. Now this thing can one-shot cruisers and destroyers with ease. Hostile fleet engaged. The battle, it's firing at what I have no idea. I think that might have been reinforcements. Yeah, it was one of the broadside reinforcements. He didn't make it. All right, he's opened fire. The rounds are landing on our ties. We've lost one of our Corvettes. Let's go ahead and turn on our stats. Come on, TIE Fighter. Look at the TIE Fighter mob and the TIE Fighter proper like aces. Oh. The casualties. The broadside casualties. Come on, boys. You've got this. Oh, the... Wait, 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 who just dropped lost shields? Our one of our victory classes just lost shields. Oh no, Captain Dennis, 50% hull strength. There he is right there in the fleet. Is he gonna make it? You can see who they're shooting. Ziri's is taking damage. One of our IS, our Super Star Destroyer is taking a little bit of damage. Did we lose anybody else? Our Nebulon B has been there forever. Uh, Jordy's Wrath has taken almost 50% hull damage. That is terrible. Come on, boys, you've got this. You've taken down his shields. All right, that's farther than we got last time. Last time we barely took their shields down before we had to run. Uh, we have lost 2K in fleet power. Probably lost one of our ISDs, not sure which one. Kind of hard to see who he's firing at. How's the Super Star Destroyer doing? Victory's taking a little bit of damage, 50% hull strength on the Calamity, taking hull damage on the Intrepid. One of our Acclimators, who is this? Oh, that's just one of the unnamed ones I forgot to name. St. Michael is taking damage, that would be Captain Jeff Fawcett. There she goes, we brought her down. Um, and the fleet strength is, ha! So we did lose around two, maybe 3K fleet strength. I'll have to go back to the footage and look at it, but our promotion of our Admiral because of the experience he got in combat brought it back up to 101. I kind of forgot about that. The combat experience um, will make up for whatever we lose in ship strength. We did lose quite a few good captains that have been with the fleet for a long time. I'll have to, have to go back and see who all we lost. But look at this. Let's pause real quick. They all look like they're shooting through the Super Star Destroyer. Anyways. Dreadnought disabled. We have managed to disable the automated Dreadnought and the Benami system. We've been waiting a long time for this. 
Despite the punishment it took from our ships, the structural integrity of the warship's massive hull remains largely intact. Our boarding parties found the mummified remains of the Dreadnought's alien crew still manning their stations. Well, that's admirable. After, uh, before expiring, they activated some kind of automated patrol mode, which limited shipboard AI has been locked in for the past 7.8 million years. Holy shit. Although it would take an incredible amount of resources, some of our engineers believe that the Dreadnought can be restored and put back into service <clears throat> with our fleet. Uh, it would certainly make for a powerful flagship. That ship will sail the stars again, but under our flag. Of course, we're gonna do it. Situation special project. Updated. We're gonna look at our special projects. We haven't actually had one of these in a long time. It's gonna take a ton of engineering research to do this. Uh, and requires one construction ship in orbit, and we've got the construction ship for it. Bring in the Star Forge. Star Forge, do I have to like click the thing? Yep. Research the project, Star Forge. With the rest of the fleet, Go ahead and unpause this. With the rest of the fleet, uh, well, actually, barely damaged. We've got many ships. 10% on Lord Pluskin's the Dreadnought. Oh, God, the Dark Shadow took some serious damage. Who did we lose? Kruger. Okay, St Stiffen Kruger has died. One of our scientists, I believe our scientist who was operating, yes, the Society Research said times. We're going to have to replace you, sir. already 51. Yeah, we'll take you. You get at least some kind of bonus. We get military tech. I can swap you out. All right, we'll let it run. The fleet has formed back up. We can look it over the, uh, the ships that have taken some damage. Uh, so the Dark Shadow, wow, our Dreadnought. Where's the Dark Shadow in this fleet? This used to be, um, no, this is Pleskin's actual ship. It's the oversized, like, Massive Star Destroyer. Freaking great. Uh, who else took some serious damage? We've got Dennis Veneer of the Calamity. I think I might take our next Admiral out of some of these guys that took some damage. Um, McLachin. That was one of the uh, AI ones. Jordy's Wrath took about 25% damage. Uh, the Unjustice. Captain Super Shock. Kajar. Revenge of Fluffy. Couldn't fit the whole name in there. Holy crap, this, um, this, our Quintins has, like, no health. Hooey. And then the Taloned Steel, one of our new Gazanti captains, and the Clueless both took damage, so. You guys survived, congratulations. I wish it would show us the ships that we lost, like the names. While in command of the first fleet, Admiral Howard has learned to be careful with her supplies. Excellent, that'll save us in power. Uh, all right, you're clear. Inactive buildings. Eh, we're probably just waiting for people. Yeah, probably just waiting for people. for mercy. No big deal there. We can also send in our our scout to scout this territory out. Let's send you guys back to the nearest. Yeah, the Kinhajal system. Go get your repairs. Let's grab one of our science ships that are nearby. Come on over here. Finally, survey this damn system. Excellent. Now, the recon group has arrived on scene. You're on station. Head on in, take out their production capability. They shouldn't have much. What's left of their, it's their new home world. I don't think this is their proper home world. What we do have to keep an eye on is the Republic is also at war with us and they could send reinforcements here to take out the recon group and I could easily lose it if I'm not paying attention. Uh, rest of the squadrons, come on over here. Since you're in the area. Come over here and help them out. Engage the station, recon group. It was like two episodes or three episodes of no combat, peace in the galaxy, and then all of a sudden everything goes to hell in the handbasket. We're invading worlds on the other side of the universe. So this system is down. You still have to take out the um, the production capability. So come about, battle group. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. What do we got? Okay, it's just the station. Yes, it is. Good, good, good. I know we're maxing out on energy resources. That's why we're building new ships. What are we gonna build next? Um, 
gonna say... Nebulons for the point defense would be nice. Give me like five more Nebulons. Let's get them built up. The war is up on 20%. Good. Situation log updated. Go ahead and take position above this world and begin bombardment. Fleet combat, we have been victorious. Good, good, good. Time project, we are, oh, that's debris. Automated dreadnought research. Has the construction ship made it in yet? No, he's gotta come way from the north. Fair enough. And that also opens up the idea of the dimensional horror, but I don't know. I don't know, I'm quite sure what we should do there. I know what we need to do. We're gonna build a new science ship. Because we're kind of in need of one. One of the things that you guys have talked about at length in the comments for the last episode was that I need to check out a system called Ascension's Construction Inn. Construction complete. We haven't been here yet. There could be a station worth checking out. I don't know what kind of station this is. Uh, it is a functional alien station. Uh, we might be able to, we've gotten some really great benefits and bonuses. Uh, so we'll send over a science ship as soon as we can to make contact. Uh, that should be Nabu, which is just about done, actually. Complete. And since we built a new science ship, we might as well recruit a new scientist. Um, anomaly research is not that great. You're cheap. I'm going to go with you. We're about to send you across the universe. All right, science ship. I have a mission for you. It's a long-range expedition. Way north. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing the Dreadnought come online. Uh, you guys are fully upgraded or fully repaired? You are? Good, first fleet's good. All right, let's grab up fleet upgrades. Ships upgraded, construction complete. Battle group, how we doing? Other than just bombing the shit out of their capital. We're doing pretty good. Now I didn't bring any ground troops over here. So the question remains, are they going to dispatch ground troops from the Just Con? Am I gonna have to do it myself? Um, not really sure, honestly, what they wanna do. Nurian Coalition. Wow, you still hate us. Well, let's, I'll offer you a trade deal in, in your benefit completely. Like, I'm just gonna monthly transfer to you. Let's get some points here. Let's build up a relationship. I'm gonna give you 20 minerals monthly for the next 30 years. All right, start liking us. Um, what else can we do? We can, that's really all we can do is kind of just bribe them. Uh, liberators, I may have to liberate you again if this doesn't work and then bribe you. Mutual threats plus six. Crusaders, I assume. If we can get this high enough, I'm thinking I can get them as at least a protectorate, or I can bring them in the fold as a, um, a vassal. Sweet, your research is done. What do we got? Neutron torpedoes, okay, could be fun. Uh, oh, shield hit points, flat bonus, research speed, sentient AI. Hmm. 10% to research speed would be nice. But you guys have warned me that, you know, can, having sentient A could cause some trouble, and I do have a number of robotic worlds. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the sentient AI research. It's time. Look at these fleets moving around. Zimmerpuck League. So that's you guys here. I'm happy to hear that you've got fleets. Oh, look at this. They've got forces. But they can't cross to attack us, can they? Can I cross? I want to take out their fleets. Every time we take out one of their fleets, uh, we get closer to winning. You guys should be sitting on top of their world. Continue to bombard them. The sooner we take out their fleets, the better off we will be. Engage. I wanna win this war. Who died? Dr. Cardi died, damn. 
He died while researching sentient AI. So, did one of the AIs take them out? Research speed. Yeah. Research speed? That's like, that's a fantastic bonus. Hostile fleet engaged. We've met Hostile them in combat. One of our old fleets. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile Watch fleet the percentage engaged. go up as we take out their remaining fighting force. Complete. Situation log updated. Situation I'm thinking I'm going to have to dispatch Situation our ground troops. Updated. Yeah, I don't have a choice. We're going to have to do it ourselves. It's going to just take too long. It's kind of neat seeing a mix of ships. Situation log updated. Hopefully, we'll see this again when the Crusaders actually go to war with us. We'll see... Well, how, about, how many people will be going to war? The... What the hell was that? Oh, that must have been just a weird effect off the screen. Like, just a little explosion in space. Very strange. Um, hopefully, we'll see, like, all of the races come in and attack the Crusaders as soon as the war starts. I mean, we can even invade this world and get some of the war score in our favor. Because it's so far, oh, far, like, apart. Whoa, there's a just... There's a Crusader fleet there. Can I get intel on them? No, I can't. Shit, can we look at them? I can't. 50,000k fleet. You know, if we started the war with them, and we engaged this fleet, this could be a really easy early... Or not really easy, but a early victory for us. We hit them with a 100k fleet. Like, we start the war. We prepare to attack. We have our main fleet, 100k fleet, sitting, waiting. Out here. Engage as soon as the war starts. Um... We might be able to stop them before they can reinforce this fleet, invade the planet, and maybe even get a white piece out of the first engagement. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. All right, the fleets are doing fine. Some minor damage. Uh, we can start bombarding the world. We already are good, and we're at 37%, so... Slowly, this victory. Oh, we should send a science ship. Let's see. Who's not doing anything? You. Come on out here. Wrong, wrong system. Totally clicking the wrong place. Uh, science ship, you. Construction complete. Research projects in this system. And then fall back and research the projects in the fast systems. Good. Let's divide up the fleet again. Give me... That's a lot of CR-90s in that fleet. That is Engine a weird combat group. We've encountered some form of alien vessel. Oh, it ascensions in, so our scientist has made it up there. These strange objects have been flagged as Ascension's End until we can learn more about them. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe we should do the research. Let's check it out. Ascension's End. We don't know what they are. Let's investigate. What would you take? Oh, yeah. 60? One month? Do it. Make contact with the space station. I want to know what they do. Paused or something? It's one month. We shouldn't take that long. Speed of time a little bit. Special project complete. There it goes. After successfully translating their language, we've established a communication with another curator on planet. Damn. I mean, unless you've got some, some interesting info. Well met, Explorer. You are speaking with curator Sigma Enclave. Perhaps we are already familiar with the tenets of our ancient order? Oh, I am, actually. Except for the people that I met last time were fox people, which was strange. What can you offer us? We are interested in procuring new star charts. We'd like it, you to aid us in our research. Can I do this twice? Of course, we're prepared to offer you limited access to our extensive databanks. I can do this twice. How long? 10 standard years. Do it. Wise choice, human. <laughs> can I look at all the bonuses we have? Hostile fleet engaged. We're in combat. With what? Oh, a science ship popped out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah, let me see my bonuses. We've got Spark of Genius, Administrative AIs, 5%, soon to be 15% with the, the new research that we're doing. Uh, two to skill from, I guess, the 
4%. Okay, so this is 2% for every point you've got. Oh, well, that's cool. Up until they die. Um, I don't see anything about the trade that we just did. Did it actually help? Produced sector income monthly gain. Hmm. I'm just gonna take it for their word. Uh, what else can they do for us? Is there any other bonuses that we can get out of Ascension? Tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Uh, we've already done this, and I don't think these stack. What else do you have on an offer? Uh, Anderson, our research we're already doing. Can we get a scientist? You have to have plus 50 opinion to get a scientist. We have not tried this yet. I'm thinking we should. Next scientist we need, I think I might take them from there. Oh, the Just Con have invaded this world. So the Just Con are getting work done and so are our allies. They're actually invading worlds in the Republic. Look at that, the Alvari Collective has hit them and hit them hard. Invasion, invasion, because remember the Republic is allied with the Mandate. I've been focusing on the Mandate and I haven't done any actual invading. Where's the transport fleet? Oh, you Byzantine cruisers, you're so damn slow. Get over here. Just, just get over here. So our scientist, oh, commerce exchange, let the spice flow. No, continue, we've got plenty of resources to do so. Let's grab up our scientist that's out here and go ahead. Hmm. Wonder why they haven't taken advantage of these resources. Oh, these worlds were probably hit by the Crusaders. They haven't rebuilt them yet. I just find it weird that like these are empty. This is an empty system, right? Yeah, there's no stations in here taking advantage of all these resources. Odd, very odd. Husk Squadron. They've actually got a combat group here. Are they engaging? Can't seem to zoom in. Click all the things. They are moving into engage. Ah, time is set to slow. All right, let's speed it up a bit. So here's the war going on for the Republic versus our allies. We have managed to invade planets. We don't have any combat groups to the north. I feel like we should dispatch some. Anyways, the war is at 35%. Our ground troops are moving in. We're looking pretty good. And we saw tons of power coming in. Oh, do I want to up the fleet cap anymore? I do. I really do. Spaceport. Let's get some more. I could get another grand super star destroyer. That's really tempting. A lot of power there, though. Or some victory classes. Let's go five more ties in this episode, and let's grab up four more Conqueror class with those weapons, a couple more Venators, some heavy hitters. It's gonna chew up a lot of power, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on our trade. But the fleet grows. I could send in the Imperial Fleet and get some experience. How old are you? You're only 52? It's a long way to send the Imperial Fleet. And they don't really need us. I mean, the Recon Group is able to take out most of their stuff. Why don't we go hunt their troops then? We'll split the fleet up a bit. We'll send the Recon Group north. We'll leave these mixed groups. Can I merge you guys? Into one one big group. There we go. Yeah, stay in orbit. Don't let them take this back. We'll invade it when we get a chance. We'll invade their current capital when we get a chance. Uh, speaking of invading. Ground troops. You guys are currently a few jumps out. I'm gonna speed this up. Because if we invade their, their capital, it'll knock this up and maybe even come close to ending the war. Hostile fleet engaged. Whoa, here we go. Um, the build knot commonalities are suspected of mapping our genome. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna retaliate. 
I'm not worried about it. We'll just take the hit. It's the bile. It's the bill knock. I mean, I Hostile can totally fleet them if I need to. I don't really Hostile care. What do you got? Oh, it's the science ships. Updated. Yes, destroy the science ships. Take out their research capabilities. Doesn't bother me. We're looking for combat vessels. That's what we're after. I don't think they have a fleet left. All right, transports. All right, the ground expeditionary force is almost there. We'll speed it up a little bit more. Situation log updated. Repairing the dreadnought. Oh, it's almost done. You notice that I'm speeding up time more? Uh, it's We're in the late game now, so things go a bit slower. So I'm going to be speeding up time. All right, ground troops are about to arrive at the capital. Now, they shouldn't have. They do. They've already built a space station again. We're going to have to pull our ground forces off of this world here because I want this capital and bring them back. Transport fleet, come on in. Alien attack group, come on in. Special project complete. It's done. This is a mon monumental, monumentous day. Our skilled repair crews and engineers have finished their work on the ancient dreadnought. We disabled the, uh, we disabled in the Banami system. The massive warship has received a full crew complement and has been declared ready for service after conducting space trials. A powerful addition to the fleet. Is it really? Uh, it is. Yeah, it's about what you guys said. 4,700. Uh, its weapon systems are as follows. Th level three plasma cannons. Oh, that's cool. She is using a warp drive. Now, that's interesting. A lot of you said that this wouldn't be a warp drive. Now, I thought I read in the patch notes they had changed this so it could join up with any fleet. It does have a warp drive 3, though, instead of a warp drive 2. Uh, Ship-mounted tachyon sensors, impulse thrusters. Good point defense. Tier 3 point defense. I can't, like, research this, like, backwards engineer this. Guess not. And then everything else is more or less the same. Newtonian armor, that's new. Uh, 16 armor per, not bad at all. Welcome to the fleet, Dreadnought. You're gonna be joining up with the first fleet. I want you in here, let's take a look at it. Is she flying our colors? Not really. The Dreadnought is joining the, it is a cool looking ship. I mean, I have to admit, it is nice. This thing has been kind of a pain in our backside for the entire campaign. It's been sitting in Imperial space in the core worlds, no less. Uh, finally. Now, I wonder who's gonna take command of this. Initiating Swig for mercy. Station. It'll under join the attack. fleet. Oh, you know what I didn't think of? Let's go ahead and pause this for a second. This is station under attack. Does this cost us resources to maintain? Is it costing power? I don't think it is. So that's 4K, 5K fleet power, uh, and didn't Situation cost us anything. So. All right, he's joining the fleet. What was this station under attack shenanigans? Recon <laughs> battle group, where are you guys at? Nowhere all that important. Why don't I send you back here? We're gonna invade these two worlds. The troops have arrived. Go ahead and move here, begin bombardment. Ground troops, we're gonna split the fleet up, create a new fleet, I need about half of you. That'll work. Uh, you go ahead and start bombarding. The second battle group heads south. I'm a little sad I don't have. Who died now? Captain Veeman has died. Shit. That was the, that was a new election. Our, our emperor has died. That seemed really quick. Shit, these are our brand new... <sighs> Who are we gonna use? Let's look at their bonuses. Warlike, minus 15% to cost of everything and plus 10% food production. Defense builds, oh wow. It's all upkeep though. And then straight up, champion of the people. Everybody's happy. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna abstain and we'll just let this, let this go. We'll see what happens. Congratulations, Emperor Draken. 
for our newest Emperor of the Fleet. I'm wondering if he's going to be the Emperor we have during the battle with the Crusaders. Could be cool. Um, all right, ground invasion force. How we doing? Let's unpause this. You're just starting to bombard, and you guys are just starting to split off to where you need to be. Go ahead and enter orbit. What kind of ground army is waiting for us? What kind of greeting party? Oh, crap, it's sizable. It's sizable, and they've got good damage. What about our troops? We've got equal damage. Hostile fleet engaged. Fleet combat? With what? They built a mining station. Are we really doing this? Guess we're doing this. Fleet, get over here. Hostile fleet engaged. You're unarmed transports. What are you doing? Don't run in. I'm pretty sure you guys don't have any defenses. Guess you can go out in your spacesuits. Situation log up. With your hand rifles. I'd love to see that. It'd be pretty epic. Pretty epic. Can't talk today. I need my coffee. Inner orbit, boys. Prepare for the invasion. Zoom in and prepare for the second invasion. Uh, they've already built their... Oh, look at this. The Wasari have arrived with their fleet and their ground troops. I got this, boys. I mean, I'd rather you do it. Let's go ahead and enter orbit, just in case they take too long. The war is almost over. 65%. It looks like they must have lost another fleet battle, probably out here. Yeah, we've got friendly ships all over their territory. We've also invaded two of their worlds here. That looks about it. Could push straight for the capital. Oh, what are you? Unidentified Empire? Unidentified Empire? Really? There is something here. Science ship! Dr. Rusky! Come on out here. I want you to identify this. I'm interested in what these random systems have. All right. We should be able to start the invasion. Yep. All right, ground troops. It's been a long time since we've hit the deck. Transports are down, and the battle has begun. And it looks like we're winning. They slightly outnumber us. My one complaint with Stellaris is that I'd like to see a bit more Enemy planet secure. interesting ground battles, to be honest. Planet is ours. That puts us up to 74%. Uh, this war should be just about over. We can actually see how the battles went. They did win one battle, space battle. Everything else has been a win. It's been a complete landslide. Station under attack. On our... What? What station? And it went away. Before I could click it. It's probably nothing. I mean, our empire is so huge. Who knows what it is? Well, let's begin the invasion of the second world. We now hold their capital. I thought that capital be... Uh, and the Just Khan have actually... Or the Wasari... Uh, by the orders of the Gistcon, have actually won that planet. So I guess we're going to move on to the next one. All forces head north. Take every world in your way until they surrender. Because that's how we're playing this. Whoa. Republic fleet? Yeah, Republic fleet. Super tiny ones. And the, um... The Collective is just starting to bring their ships in, I think. No, that's not the Collective. Who are you? Oh, the Zimmerpuck. Really? Their fleet's that large? All the way down here, their fleet is 8K. It's their Hostile tiny fleet empire. Engaged. I just didn't expect it. What do you got? A... Oh, there's their new world. Nah, I thought that was their new home world for a second. So we're engaging one of their planets. I love that we've got that Nebulon B in this fleet. He's been in there since the beginning of the game. Wingnut, Wingdings, and the Emperor's Dread. I need to flush you guys out a little bit more. You used to have a Venator, got eaten by the Space Horror. 
Enter orbit. Prepare for the ground invasion. I haven't actually scanned these planets yet. Science ship. I sent you on a deep space exploration mission. You can scan all of these worlds also. Nice. I'm gonna have to do that. Wait a minute, there's something here. It's an unidentified empire. There's actually an empire that I haven't met yet. That's insane to me. Why can't I make first contact? Or maybe they're a dead empire. Investigate. I don't see them on here. I see debris, tons and tons of debris. Maybe they've been eliminated and this is just like the echoes of the past here. Old, old territory, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and send you guys up to this question mark. Research complete. What do we got? Uh, plus one trait points. Excellent. Now, don't I get to choose those trait points? Minus five to ship upkeep. That's not bad. Research complete. That'll do it. New research is finished. Quantum destabilizers are back. Ah, here we go. Point three point or uh, tier three point defense. Now I've been warned repeatedly that the, the fighter capabilities of the Crusaders are unmatched. Having tier three point defense could be the deciding factor in a battle. So we're gonna go ahead and research that. Who's unemployed? Holy oh, shit! You guys need some upgrades. This world is just about fully upgraded. I'm gonna have to. Oh, you need a job. You're getting, this is a power planet. Let's get you a power plant. The allies are moving in. This looks like one of their final fleets. Oh, there's the Alliance fleet. Stop damaging my Alliance fleet, you. We spent so much on this fleet. I mean, I love that your, your admirals are getting experience because we're gonna need every advantage we can get. Next time in, I'm in command of the Federation, you guys are getting another Superstar Destroyer. That's, it's just gotta happen. And we can expand our fleet a bit more. Speaking of Superstar Destroyers, let's make a massive one. Situation updated. We've encountered some form of alien vessel and the Demuya system. The strange object has been flagged uh, until we know what they are. We have a special investigation. All right, so the scientist has made it there. Button. I'm gonna push all the buttons so I find it. There it is. I know there's debris everywhere. Debris, debris, debris. Investigate. I want to know who they are. Begin the research. So you've made it to this system. Special project complete. Successfully translated their language. Uh, an independent space station of Zuracorp. Interesting. First contact with Zuracorp. Hello, uh, I guess just market dudes or somebody new. We are a business conglomerate operating out of the Demora system, specializing in trade of minerals and energy. Ah, sad times. I was kind of hoping you were something new. We've already got two of you in our territory, uh, and I can't even get special resources from you, so. Yeah, there you go. Plenty of minerals coming in. So if I really need to, to, to up our energy credits during the war, the upcoming war, not this one, I can do that. They have a frontier outpost right here. Oh, the war's over. Excellent. Let's zoom out and see what's up. So, they have, make tributary. Did they not do that one? With the following demands. Who's a tributary? Of the Just Khan. All right, so they have joined in a sort of kind of way, uh, the Alliance. The mandate, the war is over. The Mandate has kind of joined us. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna be getting ready for a war against the Republic though, because I want some more territory over here. Uh, you guys are still rivals. I love that we just went to war, yet they still aren't that pissed off at us, even though my allies are their rivals. It's only minus 17. That mutual threat is countering everything. Uh, if you guys would just stop rivaling them, we could probably bring them into the fold and have another alliance. Uh, our leader has been promoted. All right, the war is over. Zoom out here. The war is over with the mandate. They have now joined with us. Uh, we are looking at 
most likely a war with the Crusaders in the next episode, is what I would assume. I wouldn't be surprised, because we're going to be, unless they just happen to go to war with the Republic, if they go to war with anybody else, even the Veldari, I believe, will lead to a war with us. Yes, because they are part of the Collective right now. So, if they go to war with any of their neighbors, minus the Republic, we will be driven to a war with the Crusaders. If I do not have control over the Alliance fleet, they will be sent in without me, and that's just going to have to be something we deal with. They're probably going to get killed. I would love to start the war myself and take on the squadron that they've got up here. That way we could claim a victory early on and decimate one of their fleets. I would still be much happier if we had like a 150k fleet before the war starts. Nice. <laughs> Build more Venators. Uh, on Naboo, I want to pick up some point defense. So give me some like Nebulon Bs. We're gonna keep building out the fleet. It's gonna cost us a ton of power, but it has to be done. All right, guys, we're coming up to the end, I think. We're coming up to the end. Now, one thing that has been brought up is, do we do the research for Warp Drive 3? I guess, from what you've told me, it's gonna open up a timer. We may have an invasion by like an unknown entity. Uh, I don't know the details. I've been kind of shying away from reading too many of those comments, but I did notice it, this big post that was on the last episode. Um, is that something we want to do in this campaign? I want to know your thoughts in the description below, so, or in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for sci-fi money goodness, and I will see you guys in the next episode of the Galactic Empire. Later, everybody.